and welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor. So my existing coffee and cook set, the fuel for the stove um, and a pot to cook with and in the 58 respirator are two elements. I have the flash and the minimo. I actually only need the minimo. I'm going to put a hammock up so I've got somewhere to sit down. But last time I did a jet boil, um, I heard a lot of people say things like, why don't I use a firebox instead? Because if I run out of fuel, I can't cook. Well, that is not true, is it? Because I can build a fire. The actual jet boil pot itself can sit quite happily on the fire. All I have to do is remove uh, the neoprene sleeve, obviously. So that was a null and void point. And another point with the firebox, I don't see why people need to bring a construct with them, which is a little fold out box to put your twigs in. You light your twigs and sit your pot on top. Um, I can pretty much get a fire going on the ground without the firebox and put the pot on. So to me, you see, things like that are null and void. Another person said, why don't I use um, something like a Trangia stove? Well, I've done videos on Trangia stoves. It's just not my medium. It's not what I use. If they are your favourites, then I would have to say at this point, why the hell are you watching a video on jet boil? This is the Mini Mo. The pot is a lot more substantial in its width rather than its height compared to the first flash that I got. This is actually my second. I got one in, I think, 91 when they came out. The weight of this unit is 14.6 ounces, which is 415 grams which is great for sautéing, reheating food, pastas. I've had uh, oatmeal done in here, which in the UK we call porridge. What else have I had? I've done a reheated meal from a previous night of stir-fry. I put that in, put it together. So what is the big difference, really? Why didn't I just stick with this? All I have to do is bag up my food in um, a mylar bag and it becomes a boil in the bag uh, food heater this i can have a meal done in seven minutes with this is the regulator and the gas can stabilize the triangle fits into the actual lid there and the lid has drain holes here at the top for your pasta a sip hole here to drink a hot beverage in the center is a hole that you would put your java press through coffee press and that is sold separately just for this size i have one already for the flash so i'm using my flash just to at the moment make good coffee whether it will come out with me in conjunction with this i don't know okay a one liter pot and inside i have housed other than my little cleaning cloth here. This bag, which contains fuel and stove. The stove is massively different to the jet boil flash. Somebody didn't understand the first jet boil, said it looked top heavy. Well, you know, it's, it's screwed on. It's not gonna come off. Coming back to the actual stand itself, as you can see, that just easily came off here and I'm going to do some food and that is now a stabiliser for the actual gas. Okay I'm going to take the pot off and talk about the regulator because this is the massive difference. 
the regulator. This is what you're paying for. Put my eyeballs on for this. The flash for fast water boiling. I can get this into a kind of a simmer, enough to do my boil in the bag meals. You'll have seen me actually reheat food just with the jet boil flash. It is possible to cook with it, but it is an unregulated valve. Have a look at the valve on this. It's there, that big chrome unit here. Now I have more rotations on this valve, which means I can turn this right down as well as fire it right up and get it into a rolling boil, half a litre, two minutes, 15, with the jet boil flash here, a rolling boil in 100 seconds. So this is a cooking unit. For people who don't like jet boil, your next complaint is, well, with that, pot even being wider and shallower to make it easier to spoon your food um, it's still not going to do your bacon your sausage and your eggs and your steak in never said it could never said it could however there is an episode coming up with the jet boil skillet which sits on top of a regulated stove like this and that will bring me to another little freebie jet boil gave me with this i paid for all this well it was actually a present so nothing is given to me by the company but this was free this pot stand is worth about 15 uk pounds as a standalone purchase just pull out these legs and it'll invert them from this direction to the inner sit this on now i don't have to use the actual pot for the mini mo itself i can put my own favorite existing pot on and just use this element here a regulated burner and obviously you're going to have your gas anyway so it is comparable to some of the other cook systems i have the only change is this a wider pot now I'm going to take this off put this on because I'm ready to cook I also want something to drink a nice hot drink which I'm going to do in the jet boil flash and sometimes I do bring a thermos flask for that very reason so with my thermos not being a hell of a lot smaller than my Java kit maker here it's a choice separate purchase for this Minimo would be the Java plunger, the coffee press. Same procedure with the jet boil flash. Just put it all together like this. Put the lid on. And there's the side by side. Just enough for a generous coffee for myself there and my meal into the mini mo. My meal choice is a bolognese. I have some nice tomatoes to add to it. New hobby of mine because I pretty much intend homesteading. Bit of spag bol. It's in a coffee bag, an existing coffee bag, which I've heat treated across the top, much like um, an army ration. They, they are usually in a mylar bag like this, and I was curious to know how long one of my meals would last. This is about two, three weeks old, perhaps. I haven't particularly kept it refrigerated. It's either gonna stink like it's off, or it's going to be fine. I'm going to put some olive oil into the mini mo because the lesson I learned is keep that regulator turned right, right down all the time. It's for simmering that. If you want fast boil, use the flash. If you want to simmer, use the mini mo like that.
it smells fine. A British Army ration pack um, will sit out of date with me for the best part of half a decade, you know, five years, and I'm still eating them. But if you are a stittler for sell-by dates, then don't do what I'm doing. I haven't done the pasta. I don't eat pasta anymore or wheat or things like that if I can help it. So I'm just going to have the meat. I'm going to light everything up at the same time, both my coffee java press and the food prep. They both have an automatic electric piezo ignition, piezo ignition, jet boil flash for the coffee, turn the regulator up a little, fires up straight away, more rotations to get this one going, to turn it on to full, then turn it right right down into a simmer straight away. I'm just using a little wooden utensil, however, Jet Boil do do their own utensils. This here just keeps stirring to make sure I've got it turned down sufficiently enough. That's okay for me. The secret is keep stirring. Don't let it stick to the bottom. It's steam already. Yeah, I've had porridge done in this um, just in two minutes. I've had reheated food done in, again, two or three minutes. Just keep stirring so it doesn't stick to the bottom. There's a little steam coming already. It's not a million miles behind the jet boil, which I'm allowing to cool down before I add the coffee. Great for sautéing veg putting your own recipes in it's a one litre pot and that's what it's for this um, mini mo is low regulated gas flow which the jet boil flash couldn't do steam's rising that indicates to me that's hot enough for me to eat come back to this put my coffee in I could have put my Tommies in while I was cooking, but I'm going to have cold Tommies. I'm just going to crush them up, put them in. Lid on, deassemble. It's cool enough to touch now. This is a measuring bowl that fits on the bottom. I don't really use that as a coffee cup. I've tried, I don't like it. Just add my coffee. Strong. And I have a hot meal waiting to go there. Always good coffee with that press, always. Let's do the taste test here. Mm. Being on a ketogenic diet, I would usually have um, zucchinis in with this. Mm. Just the cold tomatoes. Brilliant. I'm not going to be able to get through all this. I only eat once a day. And this is afternoon, so I'm not going to eat tonight. Party meal and coffee can be done just in this uh, jet boil here get the regulator turned right down very early in the game that means you have a more controllable temperature to work with and it won't burn this is what i would have been using an alcohol stove with fuel enough to equate to a similar amount of meals and hot drinks as that gas canister would do would be this size i tried a smaller bottle 
of alcohol or, or methylated spirits in this case and with a little alcohol burner I just can't get the same efficiency of fuel as I can with that can an alloy pot a glacier cup 500 mil with a cat wicking stove in there a folding cup to drink from so I've got something to make coffee in something to make food in something to drink out of and of course the fuel but all this here equates to the same as both elements of my jet boil system something to cook something to eat something to drink out of when I put all this together and realized that that wasn't enough fuel to equate to an equivalent amount of gas I was using realistically that is my combination right there it's not a bad size even with the larger fuel bottle it's doable it's a good size could I go lighter and more compact well I've got videos on this channel of such compact lightweight systems but always people when they do their videos of their alcohol stoves tend to leave out the fact you fuel on a multi-day hike it's going to be this size so butterfly handles there siliconized so I can grab that hot rabbited on that much now my dinner's gone cold as you can see there's not much in the way of the base burning there and that's only achieved because I can regulate that temperature right down it's probably the best regulator I've got and I've got a few stoves so I don't make these claims lightly you know I've got the Van Gogh stove um, Coleman's I've got a lot to compare to it's low simmer regulator it's got to be the best on the market it really has but if you're happy carrying on using your alcohol stove your trangia your firebox wood stove carry on using it I'm not trying to convert anyone here I just want to give a realistic honest appraisal if you are seriously in the market for any of the jet boil range back in 2001 there was only this um, flash available it had a different regulator I've still got it somewhere at home I just upgraded to a better flash um, on although I can cook with that flash it is boiling the bag cooking this is probably what you'd consider open pot cooking jet boil do a vast range now including a, a couple little skillet pans to get your steak on and that is in the post right as we speak God, that's really nice this is the only pot you're going to need for both coffee and cooking now it's pretty small this for hiking when I compared it to this all jet boil gear is really easy to clean out with one of these microfiber towels as you can see nearly all the coffee grounds are out of that provided I haven't burnt my pot that should be just as equally easy to clean so let's see the clean up just with a micro towel we'll get in there I love micro towels they get everything so clean without the aid of extra water to do the washing up hang that up to dry and it's ready to go again that could be your system use your existing uh, pot which will fit on there 
I've used my GSI Glacier Cup on there. That alone is a really good system because of this regulator here. Hell of a lot of power output, hell of a lot. And again, regulate it to a very, very small pinpoint. Put everything back in its little stash bag here. I have got gas and stove like that. It will not sit in upright. It has to fit in on the side. It won't fit this ring as well, unfortunately. So what kind of person in the world would house both their coffee maker and their food pot both together? Am I gonna do it like that and have room for a skillet at the back? Yeah, I I'm gonna do it. I carry all my system pretty light. Shelter, insulation, cook set. There's my cook set all there. So I have the ability to fry pan, I have the ability to use as a pot, I have the ability to use a uh, boil in the bag, which doubles up as a coffee press java. For something that big, I'm gonna carry all three elements of my jet boil like that. In comparison, that is a more traditional alcohol stove based um, cup and pot and fuel and stove. A little smaller, there's not much in it with the weight, not much in it at all. I'd say the jet boils are a little lighter because I have liquid fuel in there and I have obviously a gas fuel in here. The reason I changed from the alloy pot I have in here and the alcohol stove is my pot was burning everything I did it was sticking it was burning um, and the joy of using a jet boil is it's anodized coating so it's a little more tricky to burn although you can which is why I say keep it on the low heat stay with it don't go wandering off because your food will be done in two minutes. To make things easier for you, if you really are keen on the jet boil range, look in my Amazon shop. I have the Mighty Mo and the Flash in there, if there's any left. It's cheaper than going to jet boil itself. I'm not trying to convert anyone away from their favorite systems, but if you're here wondering what my opinion would be of a cooking system by jet boil, you've just seen it. It's fantastic, whether you boil in the bag, pot cooking or skillet cooking, there's something for everyone with jet boil. You've just got to find what works for you. When the skillet arrives, we'll put that on top and we'll do a steak omelette. I seem to have become a bit of a fanboy of jet boil. You've just got to know how to use them. So until next time, you take good care of yourself. I'll see you out there. Happy trails. Thank you.